Hello, my dear friends, colleagues. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have high blood pressure? Or are you worried you may have a risk factor for it? Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. These are two forms of inflammatory bowel disease. Now, abdominal pain or bloody diarrhea. This is your lucky day. You will get to have both with inflammatory bowel disease. Now, can man's best friend dogs get inflammatory bowel disease? Yes, they can. They share the misery with us. And this digestive disease is largely an, an invisible illness, but do not worry because I will make people smell it and realize the agony. So let's talk about ulcerative colitis symptoms and Crohn's disease symptoms and see what these can do to someone's life. If you haven't figured out already, it does have to do a lot with poop. Now 1.3 million Americans have this and it is a fairly large group. So if you like to join groups and socialize, you basically know where to go. In any case, in any case, I believe you will need a pooper scooper at all times. Now let's get right to the gut of things. Now the symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases, stomach cramps, pain, diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, night sweats, and feeling like you have to go all the time. They both bring you all this good stuff. Now Crohn's disease has everything covered. It can affect you from the mouth to the anus. Ulcerative colitis, on the other hand, messes up just your large intestine. So if you like local involvement, choose ulcerative colitis. Now both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease can cramp your stomach up. They can surely get your bowels moving if that's what you prefer and some people actually like that feeling. And one way to classify an acute attack is to count the number of bowel movements you are having. The more you have to go to the toilet, the higher is the severity. It's a numbers game here. And there are some benefits of winning here of course and on getting a higher score, you get more attention from the doctors and more pampering by the nurses. And I do mean pampering. So make sure you keep track of all of those bowel movement trips. Now, which disease gets more bloody poopers? Ulcerative colitis, as this disease ends up creating a big bloody mess. Another similarity is when people with either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease travel. Instead of planning for the next gas station and normal people do, they map out potential restroom stops. They know exactly where and when they need to be. And even if they miss a stop, in any case, not to worry because they always have the great outdoors. Better yet, some people get to have a plastic bag connected to their stomach, uh, basically directly connecting their intestines called the colostomy or an ileostomy bag. Now it will collect all the poop and people can go about their day, no hassle and no fuss. That surely is a neat trick, of course. And in any case, who has the time these days to go to the bathroom? And you will love this one. If you are looking for weight loss, then these are excellent disease choices. You will lose weight in no time. You will not feel like eating, so you will cut down on your portions and whatever you will eat will drain quickly down towards the bottom anyways. So some unexpected benefits here. Now guys, before we stop this video, what has been your experience with ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease? How has it been for you? And in all seriousness, I hope anyone who has these diseases are able to manage them well. And in the coming videos, we will go into the bloody details, who gets it so you can possibly look to prevent them in the first place. And we will also discuss treatment options and even how to treat them naturally, even without pills. So do share with anyone who may actually learn something and benefit um, or at the least enjoy these videos. So show some love and hit the like button and share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below and do subscribe for more videos. And it is your doctor's goal to prevent you from taking medication, but if you have to, you must take them properly. My friends, stay healthy and stay safe.